sneak a little back and guess what we got today. Today we have MacPup 550, based on the latest Precise Pup Super Fine Labs. Remember, being based on Precise, it uses some of the Ubuntu repositories for downloading basically anything you want. In my opinion, this should be the default anyway and not Slacko. But that's just my opinion. If you don't like it, never mind. Anyway, moving on. Got some nice new themes going down. Super duper they are too. I'll quickly show you something in a minute. This is a, this is not the default theme, by the way. The default theme is quite grey, but the newer ones are super duper. I've actually even got some of the older ones to work as well. John has put some on the Run21 page for you to go and download for 550. There's two new themes. There is a fix for M player. Yes, because at first it didn't work. But by the time the new ISO is released, it won't really matter. No, it won't, no, it won't really matter. No, it won't, because it'll be done for you. Okay. Oh, I thought you'd like that bit. Anyway, moving on again. As you can see, we've got the usual clock up the top here. We've got our little bar down here. I thought it was a shelf, actually. I'll rephrase myself. It's a shelf. So you get settings, shut down, help, connect to your internet. That's wired or wireless, okay? Firefox is your default browser of choice. The wizard wizard for doing wizard stuff and making spells. We have rocks as our file manager for the time being. If I open it up for you, you'll see what I mean. As you can see, I've downloaded all the extra mods for it for 550, the new pets for the themes, and also some other older pets for different themes. Now, you don't have to use pets for themes, you can do them yourself using the edge file, but that's another story. Now, as you can see, you can see I'm using Voco screen to record. That's this little thing over here. Hello, Mr. Voco screen. How are you? Well, I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I'm quite good, actually. I'll move that on here, here, and here, and you'll see what I mean. Anyway, what have I say? I've got to say now. Oh yeah, I remember what I was saying. Yeah, it's focus screen anyway. So we minimise that again. Right, as I said before, there's new themes and new stuff and based on precise. So we're going to go through it with you very slowly, okay? Under applications, remember you left click the desktop to get this to come up, or if I do this again, you can go down to the big M here for MagPub. We could do it that way. Or just see to do it that way, really. So Applications, what do we get? We get Calculate, we get Junior American Home Bank, loads of calculators in there. Remember, it's only a small ISO, it's tiny, 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 and you get so much stuff. And a desktop, you can configure your themes and stuff like that, but you won't really need to because you're using E17 Enlightenment, so you don't really need to look at that, really. And the documents, of course, we get Abbey Word, that's what it says on the tin, and I'm not sure what version we're going to use at the moment, but it should be 086, of course, because that's the one that works. Okay, further down, we go to documents. You got some text editors, so you've got Genie there as well, so I'll open Genie up for you. That's all right, isn't it? I'm going to run down a bit further for you. Might as well open loads of stuff up, aren't we, while we're here, yeah. So we can go to the file system. Your P-mount stuff is there. GDB map is there. Part view, free space in your drives. You can basically do it if you like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Under fun, there's a few games available, only a few, for the simple reason, if you want games, you can put them on yourself, okay? It just makes the ISO a bit bigger. Under graphic, we have Icon Finder, PZ Scan, simple image scanner, it's PZ Scan, it's easy peasy, don't forget. The Pup Camera Digital with Camera Access, so you plug your camera in and open it up, there's your pictures, super duper. Now, I've not actually installed Gimpage yet, but you will need to do that if you're going to do some stuff. Ink Light is here, so that's there, there, and there, that's lovely, we'll go back here. Under Internet, as I said, Firefox is your default web browser of choice. Flash is installed by default, so you don't need to muck around there, really. No, you can just do it if you like. We go further down here. If you're used to Puppy Linux, you'll know what's going to be here. So we've got the Puppy Podcaster Grabber, so you can grab some podcasts. Puppy Phone, which is a zip phone. It's lovely, lovely. Get your secure, secure file downloads. There's a secure SSH remote login and remote login service to transmission as default. And it also XChat, okay? Under multimedia, we have Asunder. Yeah, Asunder. A CD player and ripper, which is P Music, really. Double F Convert, which is probably one of the best converters out there for any file format. And if anybody's never used it and you're dissing it, best to use it first and then you'll go, wow, that's super duper. Anyway, back we go. <coughs> Frog in left throat. Hang on a second. M players here, remember that's, that's been fixed anyway, but as I said before, by the time the ISO comes out, that'll all be done for you and you won't have to go and do it, okay? P Record is there and Pup Radio Telly and all that. Retrovol and of course Photo Coast Rings, I've installed that. Now, normally I would install Clementine for my music, but remember, it comes with P Music, okay? And if I open that up for you, here is P Music, okay? And it works super duper. Yes, it is very simple, yeah, there's no frills or spills, but you do get a graphic equalizer now, but I'll show you what I mean. 
get graphic equalizer and stuff like that or bypass equalizer volume there's plenty with it and it's nice and loud very 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 loud <coughs> ripped a couple of albums onto here so yeah super duper that was nice anyway. but of course you can have clementine if you want i'll close a couple of these while i'm here shall I? oh yes that's because i closed it if I open up my system, or well, H-Top, you can see what's going down. As you can see, I've got one doing loads and loads of stuff because I'm recording, but the rest is doing nothing at all. So if I start closing stuff down, you'll see what I mean, okay? And as you can see, RAM goes down a bit. Obviously, it's going to use some RAM because I'm recording at the same time, okay? No big deal. Anyway, back to our menu. Oh, you've got some disc burners as well there. And remember, you can burn Blu-ray discs in Papi Linux. There's still other distributions, but you can't do that, okay? But under network, it's all there for you to use. I mean, there's no reason why you can't get online. Everything is there for you to do. Under personal, we have Bcrypt, one of my favoritos. Oh, yes, indeedy. Figaro password manager, very, very good. Osmo for doing your organising stuff. There it is, look. It's, it organises, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what that means. Yeah, I can't believe it open might as well, can't we? We'll go further, 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 further down. Under setup, all the usual puppy stuff, including the puppy package manager. Now, I have found, listen to me, I have found when I updated the puppy package manager, which you don't really need to do, uh, some of the text in boxes went wrong. But I think it might be my hardware, okay? Ah, on another note, if you've got a newer NVIDIA graphics card, okay, this is a GT630 I've got on here, and I'll show you. So, I've got one. You won't be able to get the right resolution for your screen until you actually install the NVIDIA driver for your card. I'm not sure what AMD is because I haven't got no AMD cards, okay? You know, I mean, it is AMD, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. AMD owns them, don't I? You know what I mean? But once you have got the NVIDIA stuff all installed, you get a nice resolution like what we have here, which is super of the duper, okay? What else was I going to show you? Oh, yeah, before we finish, because we're going to be doing quite a few videos using MacPat for the next couple of weeks, I think. If I open Firefox up, I'm going to show you a couple of things. What I'm going to show you is, if we go to Run21's page, now if you want to download these extra stuff that I've got here, like the extra mods and the green pet for the theme and the Lynx pet and the M player fix, just in case you manage to get a pre-release, you can download them from here. If you want the other themes from 529, they are also here. They do work, okay? They do work. I'll show you in a second. I'll close that down before we finish. If we go down to settings, we go down to themes, these are the themes I've downloaded, okay? So there's some 529 and some the other 2550 ones, okay? The default theme is grey, okay, which is that one. Okay, can you see what I mean in the middle of the screen? Of course you can. But as you can see, there's lots and lots of nice themes for you to use. Go and have a play with it, okay? Have a play with it, and you will really, really like it. Now, I've been using it for a little while now, and it's not gone bang at all, no. And I've got it on two machines, installed, full install. We're not talking about going virtual box, yeah? No, we're not. We're full in school. We're 1080p, lovely, super duper widescreen. So hopefully you should be able to go and download it as you watch this video. If not, it will only be a day or two. I promise thee. Okay. How many I'm going to give it? Got to be a 96 this time round. Sneaky Linux going out. I see you later. Bye bye.